Hey everyone welcome to Gentle PhD I hope you guys are doing great in this hot times before you ask me who are you man don't worry i will introduce myself i am the man behind gentle psd and i am 25 year old people been asking me for the past 3 years why i am not using my own voice instead of a computer generated voice and i will answer that the reason because i couldn't use my own voice is that i have braces on my teeth and i couldn't speak well even if i speak you, you guys won't understand anything even now i couldn't speak properly because of the braces but i really wanted to make tutorial with my own voice and see how you guys react to that kindly let me know in the comment section guys i will make more tutorials with my own voice instead of a computer generated voice so apart from that today we are going to learn about what is rotoscoping and how to do it rotoscoping is nothing but a masking a subject from a video just like a photo you mask with the pen tool yeah just like that we will learn more about the rotoscoping through the video and so i am kind of nervous so please forgive me if i make any mistakes guys and i will improve myself in the future video I hope you guys enjoy this video and without any further ado let's get into it To get a better understanding about rotoscoping you have to look into the green screen Green screen is used to isolate a subject Let's say you want to remove this background and put something behind like this you can do that by single click because it's just a color it's just a background in a single color and you can do that with a just a click but what if you want to remove this person from this background and put her in the green screen but you can't do that because she is already in a background and it is a video let's play this it's a moving video yeah but you have to separate her isolate her and put her in a different background and how you do that you have to crop this person from this video before we isolate her from the background we have to look something and that is right click over here and go to properties and go to details and you will probably see here it says frame rate it's 24 frame per second what does that mean what is frames and why is it 24 frames per second i will explain you yeah frames is nothing but a photo that means there are 24 photos played in a second and that is called a frame rate in order to separate her from the background we have to crop her on each frame that means we have to crop 24 frames in a second so this video consists of 24 frames per second. Let's see the duration of this video. The duration of this video is 16 seconds. Let's take the calculator and do some math. 24 into 16. 24 frames into 16 seconds duration. And that's equal to 384 frames. 384 photos. And we have to crop her in 384 photos. Not a single photo. It's a 384 photos for 16 second duration. Normally if you want to make a selection what would you do is just take a quick selection or uh, take a pen tool and make a crop around her and make a mask that's all. But when it comes to video it's a big process and it's a time consuming and that's why rotoscoping came in the clutch. It's going to save you a lot of time. So without any further ado let's start the video. So what you're gonna do take this video and paste it on the project panel. Since we are going to work directly on this video, we will create a composition based on these settings. So what you have to do is just drag this video onto this composition icon and it will create a new composition and video in it automatically. So let's play it. So here we have this subject and this background. We are going to separate her from the background using the rotoscoping. To do that, take the time indicator at the start and go to here this is called roto brush tool just click it if i come over to my display you can't see the roto brush that is because roto brush directly works on the video layer so we have to go to that all you have to do is just double click on this video it will go to this video layer over here and the composition video over here you can see this green circle here and that is called rotoscope brush if you press ctrl and drag it like this you can increase the size and if you want to decrease its size, all you have to do is press ctrl again and drag it like this. That's all. So we have to select her. So make sure your time indicator is at the start. And all you have to do is just drag on the subject that you want to select. Just like this. Just paint over it. That's all you have to do. And once you're done that, you can see this purplish line here. And that is the selection that we selected using the rotoscope brush. It's just that. It's super simple and super easy. Since we now selected this, if you look closely over here, you can see her hair here and it's not selected properly and you can't blame it. Since it's really difficult to select, Rotobrush can't do its job. 
you can't depend on its rotor brush but you can depend on something else that related to a rotor brush and that is called edge refine all you have to do long press over the rotor brush icon and you will see the refine edge tool just click on this and all you have to do just zoom out a bit decrease the brushes by holding the control and dragging it like this just select over the edges yeah just like that it's super simple and super effective you can see this alpha layer over here and it kind of looks weird but it's just showing us that what's been selected and what's not the black stuffs are not selected and the white stuffs are selected you can see that it selected this complicated hair over here and it looks really good you can toggle out this alpha layer by clicking on this icon you can see the rotor brush selection on her hair and it looks really good now we have perfectly selected all of our subject if you look closely over here you can see this black arrow lines here and that is called a rotor brush selection if you click on a single frame rotor brush will select the next 20 frames automatically for you and it's really easy all you have to do is just take the time indicator to the next 20th frame and that's all and what you have to do take the brush tool over here and again make a selection of her just like that yep now we have selector and we have to again select the hair it's really important for you guys make sure you know this go to refine edge tool and select it like this this will make the hair selection as you can see it's automatically selected the next 20 frames for you and that's why people prefer roto brush over pen tool to mask every single frame now that we rotoscoped her and you people will be asking why isn't the background behind her is not disappeared and that is because you have to put something behind all you have to do is just click on this alpha boundary icon and it will instantly remove the background that's all you can put anything behind her any backgrounds any backgrounds any photos any videos it's your choice it's completely your choice so i'm going to put a text behind her just so you, just letting you know as you can see you can see the text before her all you have to do is just click on this layer and drag it behind the video layer you can see the text behind her and there's nothing behind the text so to fill that we will just use the original video and place it behind the text layer and that's all as you guys see we now separated her using the rotoscoping brush and it's really amazing tool you can select anything with this roto brush tool and it's really amazing let's play it and see the magic yep, this looks amazing as you guys see you can put the text or anything behind that's all just anything no matter what it is just anything and people that's how you can separate anything from the video using the rotoscoping tool it's really amazing tool you guys should try this we are finally at the end of our tutorial i hope you guys learned something from this tutorial if you guys want to see more tutorials with my own voice kindly let me know i will do it as best as i can and as quick as possible i hope you guys please stay safe and have fun thank you